Scott, thanks. The truck driver accused of causing the crash that critically injured comedian Tracy Morgan faces a court appearance today in New Jersey. A friend of Morgan's was killed in Saturday's collision, and three other men were hurt. Police say it appears the truck driver may have fallen asleep. Michelle Miller is in New Brunswick, New Jersey, where Morgan is hospitalized. Tracy Morgan remains in critical condition here at the Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. He sustained several broken bones and underwent surgery on Sunday. His family and friends are encouraged by his responsiveness, but he will have to remain at the hospital for several more weeks. The accident happened around 1 a.m. on Saturday near the town of Cranberry, about halfway between Philadelphia and New York City. Police say this Walmart tractor trailer was traveling north on the New Jersey Turnpike when it failed to slow down and swerved into the back of Mercedes limousine van. Oh my God. Carrying Tracy oh Morgan and his friends. The van flipped over and Morgan broke his ribs, his leg, and his nose. The injuries were so severe he had to be airlifted to the hospital. Friends and family rushed to his side this weekend. I'm just sad. You know, a lot of my friends is in that car, man. Morgan had performed his stand-up act in Delaware just hours before the crash. <laughs> also in the luxury van were Morgan's friends Harris Stanton, Jeffrey Malaya, and fellow comedian Artie Fuqua, who had opened for him. All three were hurt, but Morgan's friend and mentor James McNair was pronounced dead at the scene. I'm Brian Fellow. Morgan, 45, was a Saturday Night Live cast member for seven seasons. Who are you? I'm, I'm Brian Fellow. That bird is a liar. In 2006, he landed a co-starring role on 30 Rock. What are all these letters, Trey? It's just fan mail. I mean, would you read a bunch of letters from people who look up to me? In April, Morgan discussed his love of stand-up comedy with CBS This Morning Saturday. I think just comedians, we, are, we hold uh, the mirror up and say, look what we're afraid of. The truck driver, 35-year-old Kevin Roper, surrendered to police on Saturday. He was released after posting $50,000 bail. The CEO of Walmart, which owns the truck, expressed sympathy for the victim, saying, quote, if it's determined that our truck caused the accident, Walmart will take full responsibility. The National Transportation Safety Board is on the scene. Four other cars or vehicles were also involved in this crash, but no other serious injuries. Now the truck driver, he is suspected of falling asleep behind the wheel. He is due in court today after being charged with one count of death by auto and four counts of assault by auto.